Hello and welcome to unboxing stream. My name's Anthony and here we are. We are going to be unboxing a Think 6.5 degree. Don't you don't don't you hate these names? Like First we had the Was it the E6.5? You know, the exclusive E6.5. And now we have the Think 6.5 degree. And I mean, yeah, this one is different because the angle is 6.5 degrees, so okay. But still, it's just it's one of those things where it's like, God damn it. <laughs> you know, it makes it hard to, to look up on online as well because you're like, oh, is it 65? Is it 6.5? Do I spell out the word degree? Yeah, I yeah. So it should be a fairly short stream because we're just unboxing something. Uh, it should be, but and because I have to, uh, I have a lot of things to get done. But after this, I have a keyboard to finish building also. Yeah, and I ended up taking a nap just now right after dinner. Stuff for I think two hours maybe. Yeah, because I was way too tired. I so most people feel refreshed after daylight savings weekend, right? When we fall backwards in time. I I was playing Borderlands through with two of my younger brothers, or my two younger brothers, and I completely missed the uh, daylight savings thing. And by the time I realized it it was like six something a.m. so I was like oh shit it's actually seven something a.m. Uh, <laughs> yeah I was saying I remember like huh I thought my brother said he was gonna go to bed already and then you know we still play for like an hour after that yeah so I hope everyone had a good weekend I hope uh, you guys are feeling refreshed the turnstile sleeps in 40 by 71 train the gamer phantasma cat puffing it up Teflon Jetstream. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing great. Okay, let's go ahead and box it. So it has addresses on it, so I'm not gonna tear it on the camera. Ah yes, my classic flower shirts. Everyone thinks they're swimming trunks. They're not. They're made of cotton. I think 100% cotton. So you definitely don't want to bring them to a pool. They're gonna absorb water. It's just definitely very tropical because. Got them all from Malaysia. My mom loves flowers, loves colors. And so every time she goes to the market and sees these, she, she just buys them without even asking us about it. And so my younger brother and I both have over 20 pairs of these shorts. So that's why you always see me wearing them. Okay, first let me give you the booby bag. Hey, how's it going? Are you thinking of boxers? Yeah, they're gonna be super long ass boxes, but yes. Look at that. <laughs> Will we be selling the shorts as merch? Maybe I should. It's pretty funny when my younger brother was a freshman in college, so he went to the same school that I did, sadly. Uh, for both of us, that is. Uh, so, we don't look alike at all. Right? He has a long sharp face skinny he's tan uh, like really tan i'm considered you know pretty fair uh, yeah he's tan uh, he has big eyes i think we have different ears as well like i have the detached ear he has the attached oh no amber alert yeah so he looks nothing like me he's taller than i am as well lean 
but my friends knew that I had a younger brother that was going to be coming in that semester. And so, but they had no idea what he looked like. And so I remember like the first week of class, one of them was like, hey, I saw your younger brother today. I'm like, oh, how did you know it was him? So, oh, I, he, he was wearing the same shorts. And, oh, <laughs> so that's how. So yeah, he's the only other guy on campus wearing those shorts. He's Indian, no. but uh, my I have had people ask if we're from the same dad or whatever, you know, because we don't look alike at all. But no, we are. He just looks like my dad and I. I look like my mom. All right, that's the link to the thing 6.5 degree. Uh, we're going to check it out together before we unbox. You can see the group by thread started April of this year. So I'm actually surprised at how fast everything happened. Why well, I say how fast, it blows my mind that it's November now. Uh, so this arrived the last month. Uh, Turnstock got it, immediately shipped it out to me. This is, this belongs to him. He's kind enough to, to share it with us on camera. A big shout out to him. Hey brother, hello, Talisman Solutions as well. Did you have to share your clothes? Of course, we had a lot of hand-me-downs and things like that because, um, as in, throughout childhood. But no, he has his own twenty pairs of these flower shorts because we don't wear the same size at all. I love you. Minterly, hello. Good to see you here. Yes. Uh, first of all, then, please check out. If you're not the channel, literally go follow her on Twitch. Say hi in chat when she goes live. She streams keyboard stuff as well. Uh, yeah, so this is not mine. This belongs to Turnstile in chat. Uh, and so he got it, slapped the shipping. He didn't even open it, right? He just slapped another label on it and then sent it my way. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, so we're checking out the thing over here. So see, 6.5 degrees. You'll see the, I really like the promo material. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, did a good job with it. Okay, so check that out. The link is in chat. Again. It's been double shipped. Well, to be fair, it was shipping within Texas. So the second shipping didn't take that long, but yes, it still, still sucks. Yeah, see, so it's got underglow, FMD LEDs. It's got LEDs on the side as well. Light diffuser, hot spot factory soldered. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then this one actually has the hot spot PCB instead of the solder one, I believe. And yeah, and the price is honestly pretty nice for what it is. Look at that. So. see we're gonna see yeah 6.5 degree angle so you get PVD brass badge and brass weight you get a 4.5 millimeter integrated plate yeah, so you can check out the that if you want we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing this thing because I'm I'm very curious oh lord shorts giveaway yes unwashed worn for 24 hours You gotta be a premium snap member to be eligible to buy it. I expect that to have my Xeno by now. Yeah, see, so that's, uh, I mentioned that it seems fast to me and I think that 
same thing with Turnstile as well. He, you know, he's the one who bought this, and I think that even though it's been seven months, it feels fast because you know we've both been waiting on the Xeno group buy. <laughs> so everything's kind of in relation to that. Yeah, the Xeno's been delayed for a lot of people by seven months now, and this thing shipped out, you know, from the start of April, which is when. The Xeno was supposed to, kind of around the same time the Xeno was supposed to even ship. Alright, the group buy started. And then now it's already here. Xeno's still not here. Green Savage, hello. nice look at that all these this so this is all the upgrades right man this is cool look at this okay, so we'll, we'll open this up in a bit yes all the badges so you got a lot of Ellen keys how many is this we're we actually gonna use all of them. Why did they throw so many of these in? <laughs> That's a lot of them. That's what, six of them in here. I think it was the last board to be shipped on the Zephyr. Yeah, that feels like ages ago. Pay December first. Unfulfilled. It's been a whole year. That's insane. You can challenge the elite for. <laughs> oh, so there. So this is the black PVD coated brass badge. We'll, we'll, we'll look at all the badges in a bit, but so this is the black PVD coated. Also, Talisman Solutions with the gift sub to Tefram. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Match your new keyboard to the color of your shorts now. Great ease. Oh, yes. Turnstile needs some fancy pants. And this is the... Oh, man. This thing has some real heft to it. So this is the black PVD coated... Brass weight. Man, the PVD coating on this thing is actually better than the Xeno's coating. I mean, to be fair, it is a smaller piece. But, man. Devness! Hello! How's it going? 18 month streak. But yeah, look at that! Definitely better than the. The, the, the brass parts that we saw for the Xeno that uh, built, how long ago was that? Three weeks ago? Two, three weeks ago? Yeah, this is pretty cool.
The CNC is also really cool, right? With all the details and stuff. And we have an empty... Okay, so I think maybe this black one was supposed to be inside here. It's like an empty Ziploc bag here. Yes, the badge looks amazing. Yeah, and so we're going to check out all the other badges too after this. Should we do it now? Maybe we should do it now. We should just do it before we box the keyboard. Since we already have the black one open, we might as well go ahead and get everything else open. This feels fancy, you know? Even the box is custom made. Let's see. Honestly, it feels a bit like one of those makeup. I don't know. I don't even know what they call it. Like tray thingies. It feels like you can grab a brush and just go at it. Okay, so, oh lord. Oh, so, so sadly, the, 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 the. <laughs> there's no hinge on it. I was assuming there's going to be a hinge. So it just kind of flops open. Yes. So all these are these are add-ons, so they don't come with the base model, but you can buy them. Oh man, that is cool. Oh wow. Okay, I think that is sharpie. Okay, I'm gonna clean my hands. As you can see, I've got some ink and stuff over. I think it's from the packaging, like the DHL packaging. So I'm gonna clean my hands before I smudge anything. SD card holder. Yeah, I guess it looks like that too. Yeah, the points thing, it's kind of temporary, I believe, because it's like a trial run thing. And so I didn't want to put too much time into it in case anything else gets changed up. But I probably should figure out some rewards for it. Okay, so all these, the CNC is pretty nice, of course. And so. You want to this is the rose gold, I think, or well, technically pink gold, but you know, they're gonna call it rose gold. Yeah, it doesn't have the orangeness of proper rose gold, so definitely pink gold, definitely more of the apple type. Yeah, look at that CNC, man, that is nice. And you've got, like green is a color you don't often see in the keyboard hobby. So it's nice to see that they have two green ones. Or well, maybe some of you, some of you might, might see this as green as well. It's a, it's a teal. But just look at that. 
Man, this is this is super nice. I wish I I hope that for the seven V we'll get something like that. I don't think it'll happen, but it would be nice if we could get you know uh, options for the badges. You get silver, you get gray, anodized black, which is kind of strange. I don't know why. I guess it's just cause the for the different texture, right? So you get the anodized kind of um, satin finish whereas the brass PVD has more of a glossy black finish right, so you could pick one depending on which one you want it's super cool that you get both so if you if you're using like a black PBT set then maybe you go with this and then if you're using GMK white and black then you go to this because you get a, a deeper shinier black and so you get red as well blue this, I, I really like this I, I this is super nice and I think the presentation just sells it you know Well, so this dark green is, is very nice. So if you're getting the GMK waves and uh, what are the other ones? Like all the other green sets. I don't remember all of them. Maybe. Could be cool. Let's take this one. <laughs> Hundred ten for all the badges. Yeah, because uh, even when I talked to Gok, uh, I asked him how much it would be to make a custom a a a a copper badge for the seven V. He said, "Yeah, it would have taken. It would have been at least sixty dollars for one. I'm sure it'll be cheaper for uh, aluminum, but yeah, still, yeah, not cheap. So I said to make like one or two. So one hundred ten for nine is surprisingly not bad." So now that we have tape on this thing, maybe it'll work better. Maybe I say that, but there's no way of gripping this thing. Maybe that's the design flaw, huh? Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Still kind of. Let me put this thing in here. Nope. Nope. Okay, we just have to be careful. With this. Yeah, I just want to drop it. The Zuzu One Squad Seven V. I agree. Maybe it should be the copper one, or or a yellow. Great Studio, one of my favorite keyboard studios. 
Yeah, I'm surprised at how smooth this group I went, uh, comparatively. Like, I was just surprised at, oh, it's shipping. Wait, what? Already? I still remember seeing the, the interest check for it. The hell? Sliding boxes. So tight. God damn it, it's really tight. I think we might have lube this thing. Don't over tighten screws. It's good that they give you a warning because that that is a problem with with um, polycarbonate cases. Man, dude, dude, this is nuts. Uh, look at that. So this is still in a plastic wrap, but man. I really like the white PCB. We've seen too many polycarbonate boards with black or mustard yellow PCBs. So this is this is nice to see. It's white with black traces, which honestly you don't see too often. So let's open it up. And so it see, so it comes with the gold. PVD brass, a standard. Just gonna swap it out to black. Look at that, man! Look at that. Yes, it's shrink wrapped. It's it's just it's it's just impressive, especially at the price you're paying. It feels like you're getting a lot, you know. Okay, now the kind of tricky part because of how tight it's wrapped. Got a case the screw holes were already stripped. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do use to fix it. Oh no, so you got a thing 6.5 as well? So I'm trying to be very careful. I guess at least the plate is integrated because, not because of sound and feel or anything like that, but just less screw points, so less things to worry about with the polycarbonate. Yes, it is an integrated plate. Uh, in general, I haven't had a good experience with integrated plates. In general. No rubber feet yet. Are any included? I guess not. Oh, maybe in here. Polycarbonate is not brittle, it is soft. Acrylic is brittle compared to polycarbonate. So I don't know why they included so many of these. <laughs> look at look at that, that's insane. So yes, a six. Uh, Ellen Keys, I have no idea why. So 
those should be the rubber feet. Please be transparent. Please be transparent. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. You can trust old cat and Grey Studios. Look at that. Oh, the fruit are gonna be black. Rubber feet. Just that just looks bad on polycarbonate. So it turns out we're gonna do the Everglide stabilizer in this thing. I think that would be would be neat. I'm just so happy that it's a white PCB. Alright, remember the E6.5 that I built recently where it was mustard yellow and then there was a red gasket. Oh, why? But this, right? Simple white PCB. Think about Everglass stabilizer. I do not have personal experience with those stabilizers, but I'm sure they're better than the retooled GMK screens. Because what was I trying to do? All right, so now we can do this. I have some lubed Zilla V2s here, so I guess we could put some in here just to try it out. Yeah, integrated polycarbonate is not bad. Compared to integrated aluminum. Yeah. Would I use box clickies on these? Probably not. This is a you know, just like every other plastic case. Very hollow, blocky sound. So those I don't like using uh, with box clickies. So let's take this thing apart. Do we want to replace any of the badges or anything like that? Uh, turn style, did you want to keep the gold for now or did you want to swap to black?
Oh, so that's why they gave us so many Allen keys. I see. I see. Alright, see you 14 by 71. Have a good lunch. See your 75% kick, that is the best percent. Anyone who disagrees is just wrong. Straight up. I'm trying to be so careful with this polycarbonate case. won't come out for some reason I love you Leviathan 16 months thank you so much dude really appreciate it These are the screws. So I'm go not gonna just shove it out. I'm gonna try to slowly, slowly push it out. You see this one screw just stuck inside. Here. So I am gonna turn it as I push it out. There we go. Okay, so it's got fingerprints on the inside already. I haven't even touched it yet. But yeah, but look at that. Pretty nice. All right, you get the badge on the inside. But on the back, you can still see it. It's almost got a creepy smile. Doctor Unconscious, well, hey, how's it going? Tiny screws are a pain. Yes, yeah, sure seems like it. And especially with polycarbonate, you're gonna wanna be even more careful. To lift the bottom first to get the port up hole. Yeah, so let's swap it to black. This is pretty neat. Yeah, so overall the PVD coating is better than the than the Xenos. I'm gonna. Uh, it's not perfect for sure. At least with the gold one, I think the black one is not a bit better than this. As you can see imperfections right look at that some specks here and there okay so let's go ahead and swap this out did they give us black screws oh no damn oh well that's fine mocha man hello I know a few badges here too. Oh, we don't just have a few. We have 11 total badges. So I guess emblems, but we only have two badges. We only have the gold and the black. Like the weight, the weight, sorry.
Yeah, Dr. Unconscionable, welcome to the stream. Now we have to slowly push this thing out so you can see it's pretty tight. Uh, wow, are we even going to be able to get this thing out actually? There we go. I just didn't want to break anything. Satisfying though. Now that the gold one out, let's put this bad boy in here. Oh man. Oh man. I'm not gonna lie, it feels very satisfying pushing it in because of how perfectly fitted it feels. Stream, we've been live for over 40 minutes. Okay, so now black. I guess it's not as impressive as the gold, huh? Still cool though, right? Gold and polycarbonate kind of played out. It's because I think with the clear polycarbonate over it, that's still not bad. Yeah, it just doesn't look as impressive, I guess, as the gold, but still pretty good. All right, so now we have the PCB, we have the top, which is integrated. I'll set this one aside. So you have the PCB, which are screwed in at a few points here. But we need to unscrew the PCB just to change out the badge. I think, oh, do we even have to do that? Oh, we don't actually. Uh, well, we still need to take the PCB out because we need to put stabilizers in. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we're not doing a build today. We're just doing an unboxing. So builds are on Fridays. This is Monday. We just do, we just have a short stream. All right, so you get your PCB. You can see it's got decorated edges. It's kind of cool. All right, look at the cool on the sides. Fancy. So can you really see that on the, oh yes you can actually with the polycarbonate case. I never noticed that. Yeah, look at that, you see the gold edges. It's pretty neat. You see PCB is pretty simple, just white and black. But now that I look at it, it's not that nice. All right, so obviously it's not gonna be as nice as a robot PCB in terms of aesthetics. The lines also don't uh, look amazing. They just look kind of like drawn on of a pen, which I guess gives it that, 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 that. Handmade aesthetic, <laughs> you can <laughs> you can call it that. So hot swap. Oh man, I I cannot 
tell you how many emails and messages I've been getting about people just wanting, asking to make a hot swap custom board for them. Oh, it drives me fucking insane. They're like, so they said they want to build something. They say they want to build something and like, oh yeah, you know, and I want you to make it hot swappable. It's like, no, I'm not going to build anything with hole tights and those Milmax sockets. Those things are such garbage. And so I tell them, if you want hot swap, you have to find something like that with the Kyle hot swap sockets. And then they're like, oh, can you make me this? You know, I have a DZ60. Can you make that hot swap or whatever? Or, you know, like they'll have some weird thing. And they're like, can you make that? Hot like, and the thing is, I'll tell them to, you know, the problem with the Kyle uh, or Kaihua hot swap sockets is that you know, it's it's proprietary, so the PCB has to support it. And then they'll send me all these bunch of PCBs asking me if they support it. I'm like, no, look, if it's if it doesn't say it supports, doesn't come with the hot swap sockets, it doesn't support. Like, goddamn. But yeah, I, I drives me insane. All right, so you get RGB LEDs, eight, and actually. Oh, pretty decently laid out actually. Yeah. Kind of consistent. Kind of, not completely, but better than most. Figure experience with Milmax sockets, plenty of ass to install, very reliable. I mean, of course, they're gonna be better than the whole tights. But that's another thing as well. It's like, if that's what you want, then you know, like, why you? Why do you need me to do it? You know, it's like, <laughs> people are just strange. And then you get LEDs over here too. Wait, so that lights up the, the line under the bed, right? No? Wait, what? Oh, on top of the badge? Okay. Yes. So let's plug this in. Let's see if it works. We've got our RGB. We've got more LEDs over here. See four over here, four over here. Man, pretty cool. So guys, this is for your if you have an artisan or anything that you want lit up. It lights the whole switch. So can you set this to see like a, an FN indicator or status indicator? I think that would be neat. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's swap this badge out for a black one, and then we'll just see what it looks like. Oh, probably. All right, so you can see with the LED, this is what it looks like. I'm not a fan of it with the lights and on a polycarbonate. I can see how this would be okay on an aluminum board, but on polycarbonate, I would just turn these off because they look <laughs> pretty bad. Yeah, so on the aluminum board, I can see it working decently well, but not so much of polycarbonate. I do not have a favorite board or anything like that. 
Never have, I probably never will. Let me soon be favorite. Hope so, but we'll see. I'm kind of glad that the goodbye is being pushed back. <laughs> Alright, it would suck if it was like, hey, it's gonna start a week before Christmas. God damn it. Okay, so we got the badge out here. Let's put the black one on here. We could even try out all the other colors. Black since we already we got the brass. We got the brass waiting black. Man, see that just that just looks neat. That just looks so cool. Okay, we'll try out the other colors actually, just to get a get a look for it. This thing is so annoying to open. <laughs> There's no way for you to grip it. Damn it, who designed this thing? Okay. So this is with the pink gold. Try it out with the green. It's an apple green, I guess. Man, I actually really like this this green with the polycarbonate. I think that looks that looks good. Maybe if you have something like a uh, Imsto Irish. Teal. Teal is always nice. Dark green. It's kind of got like jade. Like the Chinese love the shit. Blue. It's more of a denim blue, I guess. Royal Alpha. Is it Royal Alpha? I might be wrong. Gray looks pretty lame, honestly, on polycarbonate. Right? Meh. Meh. It's probably the most disappointing one, and I and I said that someone who loves great stuff, but it just looks kind of lame on here. Silver also is kind of whatever. Yes, it's dead and blue is pretty nice. Teal badge with hyperfuse origins. Uh, hmm. The thing is, hyperfuse origins. It the color is not as green. Yeah, it's not as saturated, so it would work with. Hmm. Yeah, no, it, it, I, I, I wouldn't like it with uh, Hyperfuse Origins. They, they won't match. Cause one, this, this is very saturated and dark comparatively 
on camera it might look a bit bright because of the reflection but you can see look at that look at how strong it looks red oh god my left leg is dead and fell asleep oh no <laughs> oh another cool thing is because of polycarbonate you can see it on the sides Will it match pulse no because pulse is cyan pulse has almost no like it doesn't look greenish uh. Uh. ngb hello all oh, right then anodized black I will say I think I like the anodized ones more than the PVD coated ones just because you can actually see the engraving and stuff better. Legibility is better. If you just compare this with this, at some angles you just see all black. It kind of kills the d d d d depth. Oh, well, it's just harder to, to make up the edges and stuff. Light green, teal, denim blue, and red are my favorites. I actually surprisingly like the, the light green. Yeah, that was my biggest surprise. Yeah, silver and gray were just kind of whatever. Uh, those are probably my least favorites. Pink gold is not bad. I mean, it's popular right now. Okay, so let's put the let's use the black one. Since we paid <sighs> a lot more for this, for the PVD coated brass. Seems right to use it. cool I guess it depends on what he gets that we're gonna put on this thing huh but overall look at that is this the first time we're seeing so much black with a P uh, with a polycarbonate case I think we are right because even the e6.5 I guess you technically could have the black was but well, the black wouldn't have been as prominent as this, but yeah. This is cool. Nope, this is not a personal build. This belongs to Turnstyle. Who is in chat? Oh god, my back. Okay, so I'm not gonna put the screws back in here. We're gonna wait until we actually assemble it and then we'll put the screws because you wanna minimize, you know, any wear and tear on the case. So let's. All together. Do all the bridges come with it? Mm, sadly, they don't, so you have to pay extra for it. So just the colored badges, these nine ones. Are, are these nine are 110 oh wait or oh, does that include the hold on hold on
And how much for the PVD stuff? The black PVD coated? Oh, there was actually a, a pink gold badge as well. Mm -hmm. 50 for PVD black, okay. So even though I think usually the gold would look better on here, but you know, try something new. Yeah, this turned out very well, actually. Quite impressed. Um, lots of polycarbonate, you know, pretty standard. And the plate seems to be cut pretty nicely, so that's good. Do you like integrated plate? In general, no. Uh, but I think with something like polycarbonate and acrylic, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, but overall, pretty cool. So I think turnstile you wanted T1 switches in here, right? I can't remember. Was that the was that the plan? Yeah, overall, really impressive, especially for uh, 300 base price, because it's been a while since we saw something at 300 and under.
frozen pizza time. I actually have not had the frozen pizzas in a long time. I think I went overboard with them for a bit. I was eating them a bit too much, and so <laughs> kind of got sick of it. Not including the switches, no. Uh, custom kits almost never include the switches. Which is good. I would hate if they included switches. Lunch of bread looked good. Yes, that was a very enjoyable lunch. We we we, we definitely had a good time. Um, my friends missed out because uh, at first uh, I was gonna ask them to go as well. Yeah, and we so we took the leftovers to go. Right, we obviously didn't finish everything. We ate maybe half of what was there. And so I had the leftovers for dinner, so that was nice. I had the lemongrass curry chicken with rice and some omelets for dinner. Yes, I want to go again. He actually went back there the next day with his wife. So we went there Saturday afternoon for lunch. And it was the second time there, but we liked it so much. He went back there the next day with his wife for dinner. Yeah, Really good. I... I wish it were closer to where I lived. It's like 22 minutes away, so it's kind of annoying. Because right, it's not something you can do every week. If it were, I'd, I'd go there once a week. Would be nice. Trade it with someone. Soup to warm up. I'm starting to get hungry. So I ate at 6 p.m. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'll get something to eat later tonight because I still have to work on some things. Test the review first. No, he already, he's already been there, but um, he didn't order that much. Like I think he only ordered two things the first time there. So when we went, we got four different dishes at least. All right, well, thank you everyone for being here. Let me run the credits. Yeah, this is a quick stream today. I might not stream this Friday. I'll let you know. Might be busy this Friday. This whole weekend, actually, because I also have also a paper due, so that's fun. Yeah, but I will, I will let you all know. If that doesn't happen, I will tell you in time. How's my solutions? Thank you so much. One on one bits. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, so for the resubs and new subs, Tefram, Devness, Leviathan, give sub from Talisman Solutions, Cheer from Talisman Solutions, uh, and then do we have follows? So mentally with the follow, Bumps1427 as well, PGPQ TV, Tire God for, uh, 17 also with a follow. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so 
Let's raid Chubby's actually since he's streaming. He's working on a keyboard. Uh, so just go there, say hi. And I will catch you all next time. Oh, nice. He was at the DC. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Well, now you get to see him again. Yep, so NGB, Trinity Gamer, Tasma Solutions, Phantasma Cat, Starch Face, Nevermore, VPR, Turnstile. Who else am I missing? Eames Bird? Oh, no. Just caught you here. Okay, uh, who else? <laughs> Just about to go. Yes, yeah, so everybody have a good week. I will catch you all next time. See ya.